IT administrators can evaluate a new HDX transport layer designed for challenging long-haul WAN and internet connections. This feature, called the Enlightened Data Transport, or EDT protocol, is new to ZenApp and Zen Desktop 712. In this lesson, we will describe the new protocol at a high level and find out what the product components and configuration requirements are. Select each card to see what you will learn in this section. First, we will look at HDX Transport as it exists currently. The ICA stack today is optimized for TCP and further cost savings accrue from TCP IP optimized graphics technologies such as Adaptive Display version 2 introduced in 7.11. In addition to the ICA stack, Framehawk and Real-Time Audio are optimized for UDP over WAN, but these run side by side to ICA. One of the main aims of EDT is to support TCP and UDP for all virtual channels. So rather than having a heterogeneous stack of HDX transport over TCP and UDP, EDT over UDP unifies the traditional ICA stack by adding this enlightened transport to every virtual channel. This allows best performance for both interactive task-oriented workloads such as keyboard mouse and screen graphics, as well as delay-sensitive workloads such as Skype calls and video. It also maintains a seamless fallback to TCP when the conditions require without any administrative action. If this occurs, the user won't notice any transition other than difference in interactivity. This automatic fallback to TCP would occur if the HDX client-server connection is over a network or part of a network where UDP traffic has been blocked or the user is running an incompatible receiver version. Click the tabs to learn more. EDT is a Citrix protocol that sits just above the transport layer, adding link awareness and application awareness, hence the enlightenment, to the transport of packets between client and server. When we run EDT over UDP, we get the best of both worlds, the fast and low overhead bandwidth efficiency of UDP matched with the session reliability and end-to-end -end control enforced by EDT. In other words, EDT supports reliable data delivery over an underlying unreliable UDP transport layer. EDT has been designed to outperform current ICA HDX connections over TCP and UDP, but keep in mind that although EDT is fully integrated into ZenApp and Zen Desktop 712, it is offered to customers for testing and evaluation purposes and not currently recommended for production environments. EDT runs over UDP, but unlike Framehawk and real-time audio, EDT does not require a range of UDP ports to be open to operate. Instead, EDT runs on UDP ports 1494 and 2598, the same as standard Citrix TCP ports 1494 and 2598. This simplifies network configuration. UDP is connectionless, but EDT supports port sharing for multiple receivers, allowing the same visibility in HDX policy control as previous ZenApp Zen desktop and receiver versions. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the product, component versions and ports required for successful operation of HDX transport using the EDT protocol. Note that to support external users accessing Citrix published resources through a Netscaler, the Netscaler needs to be configured to support data transport over UDP. To configure EDT in Studio, create or edit a policy and search for HDX Enlightened Data Transport for evaluation only. Select or edit the setting and choose one of the following values. Preferred. Transport data over UDP is used when possible with fallback to TCP. No additional configuration is required to optimize for LAN and WAN conditions. This is the typical value to use when enabling EDT. Diagnostic mode. This value will always transport data over UDP and fallback to TCP is disabled. And off means that TCP is always used. Even if the HDX policy is set to preferred or diagnostic mode, it is still possible to disable EDT for a particular client for security reasons, for example. To do this, add the receiver.adml template and change the setting in the GPO at Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Citrix Receiver, Network Routing, Transport Protocol for Receiver. Recall that the Netscaler needs to be configured to support data transport over UDP and that EDT runs over UDP ports 1494 and 2598. Please refer to the EDT configuration document 
in the additional resources pane. This document includes the Netscaler UDP support configuration as well as additional manual configuration instructions.